Hi there. So another quick video with some more information on the A6700 camera that I recently bought. Information that I instantly had trouble finding for myself before I bought this camera. So now that I have the camera and I have the answers, I figured that I'll push this information out there in case anybody's still looking. So what I want to talk about today is SD cards, specifically what type or what class of SD card you need in order to use the various shooting features uh, inside of this camera. So starting with the 90 cards, which is of course the fastest and most expensive class of SD cards. If you have a V90 card, in short, you can do anything. Anything that this camera is able to shoot internally, you can shoot it with a V90 card. So simple enough. Now, V90 cards are pretty expensive. What are you losing if you downgrade to a V60 card? Well, the intro codex pretty much. And this includes the 1080p intro codex, despite the fact that the bit rate of those are actually pretty low. The camera simply will not let you select any intro codex, including the 1080p ones, if you don't have a V90 card. So take note of that. Other than the intro codex, you can pretty much do anything else. And this includes 4K 120. With 1080 240, things are a little bit convoluted. And this is because 1080p 240 is only available in the SNQ mode. In short, in SNQ, it does not record sound and it also slows down the footage for you in camera. So what you can do in SNQ is you can select the capture frame rate, which is the frame rate the camera uses to do the recording, and also an output frame rate, which is the frame rate of the output file that the camera produces at the end of the process. With a V60 card, you will be able to choose 240p as the recording frame rate, but you'll have to set the output frame rate to at least 60p. So you'll shoot in 240p, you'll get a 60p output. You will not be able to get the camera to slow it down to 24p or to 30p for you in camera. But then you can just take that 60p footage, bring it into your editor, and then slow it down further. Bring it down to further 2.5 times to 24p, and you will still be able to get the full 10 times slow motion, if that's what you're after. And I tried this out, tested it, works. Take a look at the results. So if you're using a camera like that, I can't imagine this simple process in the editor being any kind of impediment. So if you ask me, with a V60 card, can you shoot 240p? My answer is yes. You just need to do one small extra step in post. Now. What if you go down further and use the V30 card instead? The intro codex are of course out of question. You lose access also to 4K 120, that's no longer possible. And that's pretty much it. You can do anything else you want. Even 4K 60 at 200 megabits per second, which is the highest quality that is non-intra, is possible on the V30 card. So if you never need to shoot in 4K 120, you can actually just survive with a V30 card with this camera. What about 1080 240? The story is pretty much the same, except that you won't be able to get the camera to slow it down to 60p for you. You'll have to slow it down only to 120p. So you can capture at 240p and have the camera slow it down to 120p and bring the 120p footage into your editor and slow it down the rest of the way. So you can still get the full 10 times slow motion if you use your editor to bring it all the way down to 24 frames per second. But I've tested this, it works, I don't see a problem with it. So can you get 1080 240 on the V30 card? Again, I would say yes. It's just one small extra step post. So there you have it. Summary again is that with a V90 card, you can do anything you want. With a V60 card, you can do anything except all of the intro codex. And if you want to do 1080 240, you needed one extra step in post to get the full 10 times slow motion. And with the V30 card, you won't have the intro codex. You'll also lose access to 4K 120, but you will do everything else. And that includes 1080 240, again, with that extra step in post to get the full 10 times slow motion. Hopefully that's useful to somebody out there. 
the specific mission I was looking for. Uh, if you're still here, you might as well treat yourself to some gratuitous 4K120 footage as well. Thank you for watching. <laughs>